Oh, let me just um, <laughs> I'm I'm trying. I want to be as sensitive yet firm as I can possibly be in this message. Everything that is relatable is not God. I'm going to say that again. Everything that is relatable is not God. Meaning, just because somebody says something that you can relate to doesn't necessarily mean that it was from God, that it came, the word, the message, or whatever. It was divine led, okay? And I say that because... All these, everybody got a message nowadays. Nowadays. Everybody. Everybody got a word. The problem is that word don't always come from God. Okay? And I need you to be careful. I need you to make sure that it's not venting and that it's vision. I need you to be able to ask God if you don't already have it to give you the discernment spirit so that you can be able to know what is venting versus what is vision. Because a lot of times people will literally get out here and say things and will add God's signature to it saying, thus said the Lord. And then God be looking like, now nah, I didn't say that. I, 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 I didn't say none of that, you know. But again, they said it and they want to add God's signature to it. That is literally fraud. It's fraud all day long. I don't care how you want to sugarcoat it, but I'm just going to. Give it to you straight like it is. So many people are out here going through it, y'all. And understand me this. And, and then you will ask, like, why, why would a person do that? I'm going to tell you why. You got some people out here that don't got nobody. They don't got nobody. They don't got nobody to talk to about what's going on in their everyday life. Friends may have left, family may have left, mates may have left, whatever the case may have been. And they don't have a deep personal relationship with God like how they're supposed to have. So they don't have any, they feel like they don't have anybody. So to them, it's perfectly okay for them to get one of their mobile devices and turn the camera on and press a record button and get the venting and in their venting moments they want to accuse you or they want to throw what they're going through off on you as if it was a message designed to give to you from God when the truth is y'all they just want somebody they just want somebody to talk to right and I get it. I, I I understand that from a therapeutic way. And I'm not here to try to bash anybody. I'm really trying to encourage you that you'll get more. And listen, mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Those likes from those venting videos and venting messages and, and, and recordings those likes me everything to them because they don't get it in real life those subscriptions mean everything to them those hearts mean everything to them those emoji and those comments they mean everything to them because they don't get that type of feedback they don't get that type of love in their everyday life y'all and 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 trust me, I get it. But I, here's what I need you to understand. I'm not here to bash. I'm trying to encourage. I'm trying to uplift. Why? Because, see, listen. If you get out here trying to do something the wrong way, even when you even when you mean well, you'll mess around and end up having bad things happen that you, 
that you didn't really even intend to happen. Things that you things that you never even expected to happen wrong will mess around and happen simply because you went about doing a situation the wrong way, okay? And if you don't believe me, let me give you Bible. So if you go to if you go to Matthew chapter 17, right, and you take a look at verse uh 14 all the way through 20, you know, um, or or even if you mess around and you go to Acts chapter 19, verse 16, you will mess around and literally see where people they meant well, but they what they did was they did it the wrong way. They were out here in real life trying to cast out demons. And even though that they were trying to save an individual's life, how they did it was the wrong way. It was the wrong method. They were trying to act in their own their own personal way, their own their own spirit instead of in their in their own mindset and in their instead of acting in the right way and in the Holy Spirit way, in the, in the godly way. And so my, my encouragement, my encouragement to those types of individuals are, God told me to tell you, you'll get more feedback. You'll get more love if you will be able to be honest about what you got going on. We all go through it. Man, listen, I I didn't post it a whole bunch of stuff. If I got if I'm being open and transparent, baby, I'm going through hell in my life right now. I got targets on my back every day with just being who I am in God's kingdom. And and, and, and you go hear about it later on or, or whatever, but 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 Things that I've already been through and things that I've overcome or whatever. And in my testimonies, man, you can go all throughout. Because, baby, you, my tea, I pour it. I pour my own tea. That there's been situations of homelessness. And, and I've had homeless videos posted, you know, and letting people, not for clouts, not for likes, not for uh, uh, monetary reasons, not for uh, uh, fortune and fame, but simply the letter know like at the end of the day I don't care about my vulnerable moments because what I was going through at that moment or whatever the case may be I had sense enough to know still that that was a temporary situation for me and I was going to record it so that I could be able to allow other people once God allowed me to make it out because I always knew God was going to help me through it I knew that if he took me to it he was going to get me through it right I knew that that battle was not mine and it wasn't mine alone I was I, I was broken all I had faith hurting all I had faith homeless and all I had faith alone and all I had faith and faith enough to so even in those vulnerable moments to record and keep it 100% real and not even expecting a feedback, I got more. And the what I loved the most was people were able to actually open up and help heal right in those very moments at those particular times. And God said, listen, what you're doing is not necessarily wrong, but how you're doing it is. If you really want to make a difference, if you really want to do what you're doing and, 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 and be able to connect with things that you may not have in your everyday personal life out here in this world with other people that don't have close proximity to you, you're going to have to be a little bit more honest and start letting these people know, y'all, this ain't a vision, it's a venting moment. And I want you to understand that I'm strong enough to understand that the moment that I'm going through or whatever the case may be, God is going to get me through it, but let's go through it together. As always, y'all, because I'm out of time, I love you and goodbye.